mas nakakabaliw lang kasi ang liit ng lugar. But when you're in the North Pole, this is what I was uh, telling some of the guys uh, earlier. When you're in the North Pole, all you see is sky. Walang clouds. At that day, uh, that was so clear. So it's just blue and white. That's it. Eh, ang ganda. Doon lang ang nakita ng lugar. Parang, yeah, parang tumingin ka sa purahe, pero walang, wala talagang clouds whatsoever. And that sometimes, uh, it's, it's one of two things. It's either it helps you because you don't think of the cold, or second, papagal ka kasi parang napakapit mo ng scenery. Um, so that's the first. Pro se uh, second is that I think it really helped kasi at least nabawasan yung tanggalamit ko sa, sa katawan. It also helped us test our that's nice. Well, I think it's the next next conference, Miss Marisa. Last time, she was giving you tips on how to handle the race mentally, go on in class and strategy. But I'm going to invite you a bit more. Maybe she'd want to take this on herself. Um, Miss Marisa, because we were convincing Marisa that hopefully she would be the next one to race in such weather conditions, no? Um, yeah, man, napakarami na ng kwentuhan. Pero I think what what is uh, what is so great about that race is aside from it being scenic, masarap yung pagkain doon. Masarap yung pagkain. Kasi they have very fresh seafood. Yeah, and uh, it's a great place to bring your family as well. Kasi it's so peaceful. Tapos sa daming Pinoy! Nung hindi na lang nila doon, Marisa. Pinag-iisipan na niya yan. I know. Right, right. Oh, alam niya, oh, well, eh. masabagat. Hello, okay. Anyway, magtatanong ako kasi yes. diba, yung, yung tip ko sa'yo is to take a hold of your mind and right, focus. Right. So I'm just really curious na, okay na, mangha ka, maganda yung surroundings. And how did you entertain yourself for 42 kilometers, right. na, 4 loops of 10 k? Para ka ng oh, yeah, that's a great question. Because uh, Maricel's, uh, I think Maricel's tip was uh, actually to have a person, think of a person per loop or per kilometer. I tried that, but I was not sa mga So, I was not So, I was not able to So, I was not able to do it. I was so anyway, so then I made it go. So I, I, in order to finish, no. But um, in all honesty, when I think about the mismo course, kasi, I was entertained by the runners. Okay, first you will see runners who are so strong. Na yung slow kahit pa nilulubog ka, parang lumulutang sila eh. Hindi naman sila kapayatan. May nakikita ko, may nakakatawan. Pero lumulutang sila sa snow, sabi ko, baka sa night. Then, may makikita ko na lakas, tapos they fade. May mahihina, then lumalakas. May iba na, like I said, I had a teammate who struggled kasi ano siya eh, from my prosthetic leg, tapos tumulubog, pero tinapos na pa rin yung karera. We, we had a runner who, who had dogs. May huskies silang kasama. First ever sa race na to, may huskies na nagmarathon. Dalawa sila. Tapos may tumakbo din na walang takip sa muka, Simple pa siya, mukhang magmukha siya si Santa Claus. So, very, very interesting. Medyo, medyo. Tapos, again, like my teammate, my other teammate, was uh, visually impaired. So, nakita mo talaga na kung paano nila tinapos. In my mind, it's not an easy race. Ha? Kasi, we, when ang um, initial uh, thoughts namin, flat lang siya. But it's actually snowy terrain. Eh. So, lulubog yung paa mo. Up to how deep? There was a point na hanggang tuhod. Uh, mag magkukulat ka, may makikita ka na madadama talaga. But they would always get up and finish. They would just pala na then finish. The course was, um, it's uh, four, uh, 10 loops of 4.2 kilometers. Pero hindi mo mapapansin kasi parang nagbabago yung terrain. It's always different the next time you do it. Kasi either may nakakapak na, or nag-build up ng konti yung snow, or yung position ng ice nagpalit. So, dun, dun ka mga mamangha dun sa race na to. Kakaiba siya talaga. It's a very interesting and amazing experience. I remember there was one last thing that you told him before he left though. Mm -hmm. Diba? Yung i-visualize niya yung kanyang finish line, finish line picture. Sure. Okay. Very nice to meet you. That's a finish line. Kasalanan mo yun eh. Kasalanan yun. So, Kaya ba hindi ba dito yung picture? 
So, sabi nga ni Mama Rizal sa akin, always finish strong. Meaning, you finish strong with a very strong photo finish. No? I mean, photo. So, inisip ko na nandun ako, ano kaya pwede kong gawin? No? Kasi, medyo nakuli na ako, tapos sabi ko, okay, pero tatapusin ko to eh. So, uh, 150 meters from the finish line, I decided to take off my clothes. Sorry, <laughs> medyo rate of art, but I did. Sabi ko, sige. Hindi naman lahat eh. Uh, hindi naman lahat. So, okay. nag like, 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 na ako. Okay. Okay, I was surprised it wasn't actually cold. So, nagkulit ako, it wasn't any more cold. Kasi ang ginawa ko, because I actually visualized that photo before I finished, hindi na ako tumakbo the last time I came, I just walked. So that my sweat would stop. No? So nagkubad ako, I was bone dry. Tapos, ang ginawa ko, tinakbo ko yun. Ginawa ko yung flag, tapos minagay away ko siya. Natuwa yata yung videographer, he asked me to wave it like a crazy person though. Thank you. Oh, Thanks to you. Thank you. <laughs> picture perfect, picture perfect. Have you guys seen that photo, by the way? Who here has seen that photo? Oh, Just one percent. Make sure to check it out later on his Facebook page. Actually, if you go to the North Pole Marathon uh, Facebook page, there is a highlight video. We're in at the middle of the video, exactly at the middle of the video. My kita niyo Philippine flag photo. Okay, I'm passing it. I'm going to go to the next Alright, so at this point, Sir Romy, okay, na po. At ano na yung freezer, eh? So, yung mani ko na. <laughs> so, of course, it's a storytelling natin ngayon to Sir Romy Jackson na may mga parts na nahira, yes. nagyan pa ako, nagyan pa ako. Which is expected. Buti nga, sabi ko nga, good and bad. Kasi yes. maganda naman na may bad experience. Yes. So, na, mas long lasting in memory. Diba? Agree. Pero was there a point in that pahit, pa ulit ulit na hira or lame or everything na medyo nag weird self doubt ka na na gusto mo naman quit? Okay. And if so, ano ginawa mo? Okay, um, that's a very interesting question for me. Kasi, um, modesty aside and because of uh, yung, yung training namin ni coach, it never occurred to me any of my races to quit. I never actually quit in any of my races. Nagkakataon na I will not finish the race, probably because I got the flat five times, di kong ganun. I think there was only one race I didn't finish, which was, uh, which was actually a ride, a bike ride. So, I never thought that I would not finish this particular race. No? Especially dahil naiisip ko, this race is not just about me. It's about this team. It's about this company that supports us. It's about the Filipino who actually is striving very hard kasi embodied, yung ginawa natin race na to, it's an embodiment for me, at least very personal sa akin to, of the hopes and dreams of Filipinos who are bringing, you know, I'm bringing their hopes and dreams along with me as well. No? Even in, with the Filipino community in Svalbard, they were very supportive because they knew that I was representing the country. Kaya hindi talaga pwede bawal. Bawal is opinion. You can never, never think of quitting. You know, for this, uh, in this or any, kahit sa totoong buhay, dapat hindi talaga tayo mag So there's always a way around the things, around our problems. Sobrang nakaka-proud. And Ferris, I really feel personally proud to be part of this. Thank you.